Hello and welcome to ITTR. In today's video clip, we're going to learn how to perform a soft reset on an iPod and on an iPhone. If you have an unresponsive iPod, the best thing you can do is perform a soft reset. You'll find out that most problems can actually be solved by just two simple steps. So the first soft reset we'll demonstrate is on an iPod. Step one is to find the hold switch. You're going to want to toggle the hold switch on and off. On the older iPods and even on the iPod Classic, you'll find the hold switch in the top left hand corner. So to toggle it on, turn it on, we're going to push it to the right. You know that you've activated hold when you see the orange indicator. Then we're going to go to the left, put it, turn it back off. And then the final step, we'll bring it closer here, is to hold down and press your menu button and the center button at the same time. Okay, we're going to keep pressing those, holding those down, until the Apple logo appears on your screen. As soon as the Apple logo appears, we want to let go. It's usually pretty quick. And there you go, you've done your first reset there of your iPod. Now the next one we'll take a look at is performing that same soft reset process on an iPhone. Well, there is no hold switch that we need to toggle when it comes to either an iPod Touch or an iPhone. Here is pretty much just one simple step of holding down your power button and pressing down your home key at the same exact time until the Apple logo appears. So we'll just press and hold the power button and home key. We'll keep pressing until the logo appears. We'll keep pressing, not yet. And we should see the logo there. And that's all you need to do to perform a soft reset on your iPhone. So that has been the iPhone and the iPod soft reset. This has been ITTR. Thank you for watching.